Well, it's a tough question because we can find distances at which the cosine for the sine terms will be zero. But the complex valued ZL shows up both here for the cosine term and also here again for the sine terms. So in notes 10, we'll learn about an easy way to find a distance at which Zn becomes a real number. For now, I'll go ahead and just tell you that when d is equal to 0.365 wavelengths from the load, Zn is a real number and it's equal to 16.8 ohms. Of course, this doesn't equal Z0 yet, which is 70 ohms. So let's go back to our equation, this Zn equation. Is there now a way we can transform our 16.8 ohms? So let's draw this out. This is Zl. And now we're at a distance of 0.365 lambda. And at this location, Z in is equal to 16.8 ohms. So now we're going to go, uh, now we're going to think about is there a way we can transform this 16.8 ohms to an impedance of 70 ohms? In this case, our new load, so if we're standing at this position, we can think of our load as being our input impedance, which is 16.8 ohms. And now we want to transform that to 70 ohms.